Welcome back to Crypto Games for another video. I didn't want to make this video, but when threats get involved, I just got to keep it straight up real and just show you what you need to see. Why baked beans is probably the, the largest pyramid scheme in this crypto space. If you sound interesting, drop that like and subscribe. Let's talk about this. For those that knew what is baked beans, I was, t I was sharing videos on this because I was in the last ones a few years ago. And I want to kind of show you the background history of baked beans. Show you, talk about the founder. I think his name is Kronos or something like that. I don't think that's his real name. He would never dare share his real name. Uh, and just kind of put my serious thoughts on this project, right? And when I first shared this video to you guys, I expressed how extremely high risk it is, how you must put what you can afford to lose, I'm gonna talk about everything and how, uh, you know, it's got this kind of scammy vibe because it does have this kind of pyramidy, Ponzi, schemey type of economics. So let's just talk, that's real quick, actually no, let's just talk about baked beans. Where did it begin? What happened with this? Because they, years ago, this used to be their first miner. So baked beans was a miner that you could put your money in and they, and they, pro, well, they, they say that you could get 8% daily rewards based on your habits of staking your, recompounding your rewards and, and claiming your rewards. And recently they got pissed off with me because I saw that their pool was falling down because higher powers must have been bloody taking profits for the pool to fall down. And then because I saw that, I was taking profits and they tried to divert the attention onto me. And I'm gonna show you why. And many more YouTubers that have been talking about baked beans. Yeah, they're coming for you and I'm gonna show you why. So stick around for this. If you're in baked beans, you know, you can pay attention if you're in it. I would, you know, just if you, I don't know what you put in. Again, I hope, and, and, you know, you only put what you can afford to lose kind of thing. That's what I did. I mean, I put flipping five grand in this. I was lucky enough to have you guys click my link to get referrals. Now, you didn't have to click it. There's people that have made phishing attempts and phishing websites looking just like this where they scam your money. They, they you know, you connect your wallet and immediately, immediately your wallet gets wiped. So I offered a referral link. And matter of fact, that was Baked Beans' strong incentive was if you, you know, if you was an influencer or anyone, even you could have done it, you had a referral link that you could share. Why do they do this though? You see, there's an incentive behind this entire project as to why they want you to share it and earn rewards as a referral, because that will keep people coming in. It's like, okay, this will keep people coming in. Now, I had no power over who used my link. I, you know, I told you, if you wanna come over here, you can click my referral link. And people that did shout out to you, thank you, I appreciate it. You didn't have to click it, but I appreciate that you did. And obviously it says here, the, the referrals gave people 10%. So I was like earning crazy amounts of beans through the referrals. I'm sitting on 40 flipping thousand beans. So for me, it was like, I didn't even have to rebake on some days because the amount of referral beans that were coming in, that kind of like, if I was to rebake on, re on one day, the beans were already there just through the referrals. So obviously me being a higher YouTuber, it was an incentive for me to do that. And yeah, so let's just talk about all of this. So their history was this, right? What happened to this? Because you can't find their old, uh, old site anymore. They took it down. They stopped everyone that was in this from being able to claim any more future BNB, they just closed the site completely. Why? Why would you do that? And then they had a second attempt to try and make another Ponzi type of uh, baked beans uh, attempt, like, you know, another miner. They called it Toasted AVAX. This was their second failed attempt. Mm. Let me just plug my, my uh, plug in one second. Make sure I'm still recording one second. Here we go. This was their second failed attempt back in 2020, 2021 to try and make a sustainable high yield miner where you guys could make good money. And I tried it out. Actually, this one failed a lot quicker. This one just died in a week, right? And many people back there, you saw how quick this one died. You saw loads of other ones come out like Ruby mine, loads of different miners. It was very hot and popular back then. So people were making money. Now, the way you make money with these is you have to get in early. It's that simple. Like, it, and, and I said it, you know, in my video, it's extremely high risk. Put what you can afford to lose. This could fall to zero. You know, it's got, listen. Listen to this. This is not financial advice, extremely high risk. 
Put it where you can afford to lose. I need to sh- I'm going to repeat that one more time. Because I'll, I'll let it play through. Listen. This is what I do. I like to tell you straight and clear. Real and quick, and if you want to watch this video, I've got it there. Look, apparently I'm a scammer. You can watch it. And they're very clever. They, they How they try to divert it onto me. Anyway, look, I'll talk look, about it. There's some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. And, uh, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with your damn money. Listen. Financial advice. Extremely high risk. Put it where you can afford to lose. This could come across uh, scammy. I don't know. It's- scammy. And that's the exact word, scammy. So... You know, I, I, I put this out there and I made people very clear from the very, this was my very first video. And actually, if you look at that video clearly, take a good look at this video clearly. Let me play it again real quick. Hold on. Look, here we go. Trying to pause it on. Here, If you take a look at the BNB pool, right? Let me try and get it where you can see the BNB pool clearly. There you go. Take a look at how big the size of the pool was when I got in. I got in on the pool at 255 BNB. That's when I shared it to the Patreons. I said, guys, I'm going to try this extremely high risk minor. Again, not financial advice, extremely high risk, could lose all my money. I'm making a brand new wallet because when I'm trying to connect to it, it's telling me that the founders of this project can actually steal all of my stuff. So actually, you need to make a brand new wallet if you want to try this. That's what I did. 255 BNB, which means people got in before I did. Now, of course, being the founder of this project, I mean, I, I spent $5,000 to get 3,000, I can just about see it, I think it's at 3,245 beans, you look down here, 3,245, I spent $5,000 to get 3,245 beans, if it wasn't for my referrals, I probably wouldn't have that much now, right, just keep it real, yeah, so $5,000 gave me 3,245 beans, 3,245, and that was at the B&B pool of 256. Can you imagine how much these owners had? And if it was zero B&B pool, let's say the pool was like 0.001 B&B. The founders could put $10 into this pool at the very beginning, stealth launched it like they did, have 200,000 flipping beans just sitting there. So how does it work? How do people make money in something like this? You have to get in early if you want to try extremely high risk things like this. So I tried to get in early. I shared people what I'm doing. If you wanted to join it, cool. It's entirely up to you. I can't force you guys. I'm only showing you what high risk stuff I'm trying to play with. This isn't an investment. And people in my comments on this video here, they were saying this isn't an investment. This is a gamble. This, is, this isn't like your blender. This is not a project that's going to make me $100,000, $2 million in the next year. This is a gamble project. I put $5,000. That's what I could afford to, look, afford to lose if I lost the whole lot. Fine. I was, uh, that's what I was prepared to lose. So when I start seeing the flipping pool... Uh, fall down in, in, in like, because you know, I'm watching, like, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you everything, things that you need to learn and, and look for. You can come onto the BNB scan. I've got too much to tell you in this flip, you stick around. Yeah. <laughs> when they want to start threatening me, you better stick around. There's lots to talk about. Yeah. And I want to show you this is the founder of the project. And if you want to, is this the kind of person that you want to put your trust and faith in when it comes to investing in their project? <sighs> Okay, let's talk about it. Cool. You can come onto the BNB website, the ba- sorry, the baked beans, click on the BNB scan. You can come over here and I, I highly recommend, highly recommend you guys start doing this because I found this out. Click on analytics and then down here, you can see a chart, this blue chart, and you can see it's starting to curve. When I start to see this curve, that means more, more people are eating than they're claiming. Right back from uh, 3rd of May is when it started to curve. And I said to another person that was sitting there with me in my house, you know, I said, look, if this starts to curve, that means people that got in before me, because, you know, I got in on a 200 and flipping 50, 56 bean, uh, BNB pool, that they got much more beans than what I've got. If they're starting to eat their beans, then you're going to start to see something happen in this chart. You're going to start to see it curve. And then that's what it did. So because of that, I started to adapt quick to, uh, quick and do what I do now. When it comes to staking, I mean, pe- many of you guys have got things like Sandbox, Moonbeam, all these coins that we've got that we can stake. I don't sit here telling all my Patreons what strategies you should do for staking. I, show you, I showed you on this what I'm going to do. This is a minor. But it's similar to staking. You're, you're receiving rewards, you're compounding. 
but I have to adapt quick, uh, quick as an investor. And if you're in a, if you want to be a smart investor with whatever money you can afford to lose, you have to adapt quick. Which means, which means you need to watch it carefully. You know, understand what you're doing with this and adapt fast. Don't wait for people to tell you what you should or shouldn't do with your money. You're a grown man. You're a grown woman. You have to have that fast. So you can click on BNB transfers. And for anyone that's in this, I highly recommend you watch this. This is what I started to see, right? The black bars mean that people are rebaking. You're seeing people put more of their rewards back in. And then the blue bar is where you're starting to see the more people take out than others. Now, I'm guessing this first one that we saw here was a day where people were eating. You bake for six days and you eat on one day. Cool. So I understand how actually maybe on that day, the blue probably would have been a lot higher than the black because people, it's an eat day. You're claiming your rewards. So time went on, cool, I saw it. And then I started to see this blue come back above the, the, the black. And I'm thinking, hold on a minute. Well, how are people still e eating more than what they're rebaking? And, and I took 69, what, 69 B&B? &B? Listen, this B&B &B pool, right? This was at 2,300 B&B. &B. That's what was in there. 2,000 beyond your B&B. So, and, and look at this. I even shared it to my patrons. I said to them, I'm going to read the whole thing. Hey, patrons, quick announcement. I've decided I'm taking down all the baked bean videos purely for the fact that I don't even want to have any ties to the project. This is going to be the only baked beans video that stays up. You, and then you guys can decide what you want to do afterwards, right? Talib, I don't care what you do. I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I'm just keeping it straight up real. Listen, that's it. And when it comes to staking, people that stake any other type of coins, I don't tell you what you shouldn't, sh when you should uh, claim your, your, whether it's your moonbeam, uh, what are these coins, VRA, if you're staking your VRA, do you ever see me tell you when you should be unstaking and claiming it and everything else? Actually, I would tell you when to unstake if you're going to sell all your tokens. I haven't sold all my tokens on VRA, but when I do go to, you're going to see when I'm unstaking them or, or when I'm going to sell them and everything else, right? So yeah, and I've always made people clear that. So I said to them, where am I? I don't want to have any ties to the project anymore, and I don't want <coughs> I don't want my videos to go out there uh, and and essentially just be promoting them, Inf and and just have an influence in it. I said uh, people don't under uh, I don't want to uh, I want to say promoting them when people do not understand the risks of what they buy. So what happens is you guys watch channels like me, you see that I've. Uh, I, I've done something before in the past and I want to try it again. I'm into this high, sh I'm into this high risk stuff and I'll put what I can afford to lose. If I lost my five grand, <sighs> crap, it sucks, right? But then if, if you're investing too much what you can afford to lose, how can you blame anyone else for that? You're choosing what you want to put. You can put $2, you can put $5. As I said, I'm sure you've all watched my video by now and understand my take on the project. Please go back to that video and watch it. It's going to stay up there. The one about apparently I'm a scammer. As grown adults, we must all decide for ourselves uh, our own strategies when playing with DeFi. And this is the truth. DeFi is different to like buying a coin, something like your blender and holding it for like two years. If it goes up, it's, it's different because with, with DeFi, you have to keep an eye on it. What's your yield looking like? You know, same with farming. When you farm tokens, you have to keep an eye on it because of the impermanent loss and everything else. I said, I'm sure you all have coins like this, you know, like the chain GPT is a fine example. You stake your chain GPT tokens. Do I tell you when to, to claim your rewards and when to recompound them or not? No, I don't tell you. There's something you got to decide. Uh, I said, you know, just pointing at different things like fetch and everything else. I said, and not once have I ever given you strategies on when you should ever recompound these other tokens, right? I said, you'll have to decide as individual investors what's best for you because everyone's got different amounts of money. And I don't know, maybe one day you need to go and pay a bill and you have to take all your stake out. I don't know. Uh, baked beans is very similar to stake in, 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 in regards to its compounding and claiming. I will not be making any more videos on their project. Well, this is the last one, <laughs> and this is going to stay up. I don't care what happens to the project. Uh, they will have no, uh, uh, I said that way, I will have no influence on what their project does going forward. Now, I will have an influence on the project because people will see this, and I'm showing them the straight up truth about the project, and then they can decide if they want to stay in it or, or what they want to do, but I don't care right? This would be the influence because I believe it's a Ponzi and I believe that not many people will make money on this now. And I'm going to explain the reasons why, because this BNB pool has gone too high and it's the people that got in early, right? Uh, there was over 2,300 BNB that entered the baked beans pool. And now there's only 1,589. Let's just have a look. <coughs> now there's 1,516, right? So go back on that. At the t I posted this yesterday at the time. If I sold roughly 67 BNB, 
of the bit of what was in the pool. Where did the other 644 BNB go? Please think about this. Where did the 640, because if I sold 67 BNB, where did the 644 BNB go? If you guys are all complaining that you ain't, you ain't got your return back yet, it clearly wasn't you guys. <laughs> Just got to keep it flipping real. I took 67. If you guys are taking smaller portions, where did the 654 go? Everyone seems to forget that the founders, uh, 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 hold on, that the founders had the, uh, had the largest stake in the extreme risk game. These guys stealth launched baked beans, which means that at the start, they didn't have to tell anyone what they were doing. They could have put $10, $100, however much to get a huge amount of beans. Understand what I'm trying to tell you here. How does the flipping uh, pyramid scheme work? How does it work? I was probably here. <sighs> Just got to keep it. I was probably here. And I understood the risk that I'm trying to get into if I'm going to have fun with these high-risk things. They're not, they're not investments. They're just like, you have fun, you put what you can afford to lose. Who are these people above me that, had, that was able to sell 644 BNB? Even if you guys did, did take, uh, eat on some days, let's say you managed to take like 20 of the BNB. Like, like I said, here, look. I said, and, and they tried to be clever and target me for them dumping 620 BNB on everyone. I said, they, they used me as their, as their misdirection. You understand magic? How do you take money from, from some out of, uh, what's that film? I can't remember the film. A really good film. Catch me, catch me now. Catch me if you can. I can't remember. It was really good. Got that guy from uh, the one, oh, they used to play basketball from White Men Can't Jump. Really good film. I said, which might, which might I add, 620 BNB, is around $370,000. I'm telling you straight up now, I ain't got 370,000 flipping dollars. They, 620 BNB has been taken out the pool because this was sitting on 2,000 flipping 300, maybe more. And now it's gone down even less. So if these, if these guys want to start threatening and then sharing to their community and tagging, this is, the, this is your community. If you're in BNB, this is, these are your founders. They tag videos of, I don't have any words, but watch, okay? I don't like liars, I didn't lie. Lucky I have a UK trip planned this year. Also got a UK passport so I can stay as long as I need. Looking forward to, to meeting you. Expect a knock at the door from Kratos, you liar. Is this the type of community that you wanna be a part of? I, I would never see Blender, uh, let's have a look at some of these other projects that are decent, uh, decent projects with decent flipping founders. You'd never see Blender, Node AI, Fetch AI, flipping Gala. You would never see the CEOs or founders drop stupid, idiotic, st st stupid, dumb things like this <laughs> and tag it in their flipping Telegram group. You're killing your own project because you're making yourself look stupid, man. It's straight up real. I don't care what people think of me. And then he, and then he does, look at all, I'll show you all of this. Keep it real. Look, Baked Beans guy look, emailed me and he, he tagged this also in his Telegram, LOL. I give it four and he this is to show his people. He wants to show his community this. This is what your, this is your founder of the Baked Beans community. This is who you're looking up to and saying, you know what? I like this project. LOL, I give it four weeks. And this is what he said to me. I give it four weeks until you stop making videos because no one will believe you. Listen, my friend. I don't need people to believe me that Blender will do well. I've already made insane success. I can close my channel tomorrow and still make success in crypto trading or crypto investing. I don't need people to believe me. Matter of fact, I don't want you guys to believe me. Go and do your further research because I've been telling you the whole damn time to do, let me make sure I'm flipping still. You can still hit me. I'm touching the, the mic. Mic's a bit flimsy. Go and do your own research. I've been telling you still hit good. I've been telling you guys the whole damn time to do your further research anyway. You shouldn't believe anyone on I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Go and do your further research. I want you to do your research because what might be good for me might not be good for you. If I think Blender can do this, you might not think that. I don't want no one to believe me. I don't need people to believe me. <laughs> so if people don't think Node AI, Fetch AI, which I bought at eight cents is sitting on $2.35, you best believe. Flipping Gala, which I bought at 003 years ago. I, t I made flipping $2 million off this. Do you think I need people to believe me? Stupid nonsense. You want to put stupid flipping things like this to your audience? 
<laughs> people won't believe me. I don't need people to believe me. Don't believe me. Because I tell you what, I'm going to do exactly what I've been doing the last few years. I'm going to keep making videos. And if you think your silly words like this can scare me, you're just, this, this just shows the type of community or the type of uh, founder that you're dealing with. I give it four weeks until you stop making videos. Let's see in four weeks, yeah? Kiss my teeth at you to ass. <laughs> Guys, got to keep it real, man. How does a Ponzi scheme work? In order for you to make money, someone has to come underneath and buy it. So if for any, re any reasons, nobody buys more baked beans, how can you make money? You can't because no one's buying. So they have to give an incentive. No one had to click my link. No one was forced. No one, I never had the gun, gun to anyone or forced anyone to click my link. I was merely showing you what I was doing. I know that there's phishing scams out there. Gave you an opportunity to uh, re get referred straight to the site so you can. And I even told you to refer a link. And you guys clicked it and I appreciate the people that did. It's unfortunate. And I say it sucks that people haven't made back their investment yet. It does suck. But at the end of the day, you should only be investing what you can afford to lose. Don't, don't go putting 50 grand in something if you, if you can't afford to lose that. I've, I'm a multi-millionaire and I put five grand in. I didn't put flipping $500,000. <laughs> so if I've got this kind of money and then you guys are pissed off and upset because you may have lost two grand, 10 grand or whatever, why are you putting so much money if you cannot afford to lose it? And then and I watched the TMI. Have you heard of TMI, the modern investor? I love this guy. He's another YouTuber and he's straight and real. And I love how he says it. And he says it all the time. You should not shred a single tier if you lose any of your money in crypto. Whether it's with meme coins, whether it's with miners, whether it's with AI coins or gaming coins, you should not shred a damn tier. Because that should be money that you can afford to lose. You don't put your bills, you don't put your rent, you don't put any of that. You play with money that you can afford to lose. And that's all I've done. He tried to be clever. He tried to divert his, 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 his selling of over 620 BNB for, let's put it on the YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers. I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. I said, anyway, I want to say any more on the matter. Well, this is the last thing I'm saying on this video and that's it. You all have, all have to decide for yourselves what you want to do with this project. Uh, and it's really important that you do only invest what you really can afford to lose in crypto. That's with everything. And it's important that you learn to adapt to project conditions. A smart investor does not always wait for, uh, for someone else to tell them what to do. I don't wait for anyone to tell me what to do. And I don't expect people to wait for me to tell you what to do. I make a Patreon so people can get early access to projects, early access to videos. I can, I can give you content and I can show you when I'm buying. If you want to follow it, fine, you're not forced to. You know, all of the stuff that I put on Patreon eventually goes to YouTube anyway. So it's, it doesn't cost you nothing. You could just sit on my YouTube channel for six, seven, eight weeks and anything that I put on Patreon will eventually go on there. It's only because people like the content and I appreciate you guys who like the content that you say, well, you know what? He's called flipping projects like Fetch AI from eight cents to now two flipping dollars. Maybe I should check the early access because if he does, if he's sharing more projects, I have a chance to get in early, it could do well. We've made some good money in, in projects over the last few months. We flipping lost some money. I can't be right all the time. I'm not Jesus. <laughs> Just got to keep it real, right? And I know I can't always be right all the time, but this is the risk that I take when I invest in crypto. So yeah, I've still got more to go. Take a look at this. This is what he's sharing in his group, or this is what their group is made of now. This person's going, oh, look at this YouTuber. Let's, let's go. Take him down, fam. Check the wallet. Why are they now targeting this guy here? Look, go take him down, fam. Why do they want? Why do they want to take this guy down? He's another YouTuber. Let me tell you why. Because this YouTuber, right? He got in on a 15 BNB pool. I'm starting to get it. <laughs> starting to realize. He got. In, sorry, sorry. Here it says 18, 18 BNB. He got in way before I did. I spent five thousand dollars to get three thousand two hundred beans. This guy spent five hundred dollars to get the exact same amount of beans, if not more than what I got. Why do they want to take him down? Why are they pissed off with this guy now? Because he'd now become a, a large holder of beans. And I'm starting to get it. It's, they don't like the fact that they can't control the people that got higher amounts of beans because we can bloody eat when we want. It's flipping crypto. It's our staking rewards. We can eat when we want. It affects their flipping project. They don't like that. So the only way to do it is to divert it. 
Be pissed off at these guys while we take 620 flipping BNB. Because I tell you what, even he didn't flip and take 620 BNB. He hasn't got enough beans to take that much. <laughs> Keep it flipping real. Where did the 600, where is it? Where did 620 BNB go? Because this was a 2,300 BNB pool uh, a few days ago. Where did $370,000 go? Ask that question. Because no one's asking these questions. You you believe what you want. I don't care what you believe, man. I just want to show you everything. Every other, every other YouTuber that got in early, they're going to come for you. I'm just keeping it real. They will come for you. And when they see that you're selling, they're not going to like it. They're going to try and do what they can to uh, affect you. But it will never affect me. Because I understand. And, I, and I'm just straight with people. Yeah, maybe I didn't tell people when I'm bloody state, restaking or recompound. And maybe I adapted to my strategy too quick. But I, I shouldn't have to. You guys don't need me to tell you what you need to do with your money. I show you opportunities. My channel is a platform to show people opportunities and, and what I'm doing. And in, and in the most cases, I have been doing high-risk plays. I don't touch with top, t uh, top 10 coins. I'm coming down the rabbit hole through the looking glass. I'm looking for 100Xs. I'm having a bit of fun over here on the side with these high-risk, stupid, flipping protocols. And I've always kept it real. Like I've always said in these damn videos. What? And if you don't, then maybe get in a And if you don't, Where then... Is it? Financial advice, extremely high risk. Put what you can afford to lose. Put what you can afford to lose. What else do I have to show you? If no one comes in underneath, this pool is going to dry out because you need someone to come underneath for you to keep making. And it wouldn't surprise me if it goes the same way as toasted AVAX and then they just, just all of a sudden, the site disappears. Or they change the contract. <laughs> you know, look at this. Uh, let me find, I've got so much to talk about. Today, well, at the time of recording this video, it's the 10th, I'm going to get this up as quick as I can. They, their, their devs now announced that the contract has been renounced. Look at this. Contract address has been renounced, guys. It's immutable. No, no one, none of the founders can do anything anymore to the contract. It's been renounced today. Make up your mind, please, because two weeks ago when you dropped your project, you dropped a fax page. And in that fax page, you said... You're dropping, you're dropping this to your, your, the people that want to get involved. How do, we, how, do, how do I know Baked Beans Reloaded is safe? The first thing that they say in their flipping facts in this section, the contract was launched as an immutable contract two weeks ago. And what does immutable contract mean? Look, or what, is, what does renounced mean? I said, look, renounced, look, renounced. It means, real quick, just so you can see, renounced means when a contract is renounced, it means that actions can no longer be performed in showing the project's integrity and security is safe, right? Or, 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 right. What does immutable mean? Meaning that the changes can, uh, no changes can be made by the dev team. You told your people, me and everyone else that got in this project, it was immutable two weeks ago. So why now are you telling people and you're trying to act like you're a big man sitting there now saying it's renounced? And who's the liar? Sorry, who's the liar? <laughs> and this is your, this is your founder. <laughs> LOL, give it four weeks till you stop making videos. Drop your comments down below. Do you think I'm going to stop making videos in four weeks? Just want to know if you think I'm going to stop making videos in four weeks. I just had to, I'm sorry, it had to be a long one. I just wanted to keep it real. I don't care what these silly YouTubers think of me. <laughs> As a YouTuber, you learn to just come with it. You just learn to accept the good and the bad. People love you when you make them gains. People, other YouTubers know. When you show them no, no AI at 12 cents and it blows up to like $2 because it did or $3. When I show you, uh, oh, and Blender's on its way. When I show you Fetch and it's at 8 cents and it blows up to flipping. We, we done made mad gains on this. And when, 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 you're, when you're making good money for people, they flipping love you, man. When you, when you show them projects and they lose money, they hate you. If you're pissed off with any YouTuber or anyone else in crypto, that's because you put too much money that you can afford to lose. And that's just the truth, man. Like it's the straight up truth. So, it, bruv, if you don't like liars, stop lying to yourself because you're putting up things like the contract was launched and, as immutable two weeks ago. And now you're telling your, your lovely fans, your, your community, that the contract has now been renounced. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. Sorry, I don't like bringing project videos like this, but I had to because these are threats. 
Look, don't like lies. I've got a UK trip plan. What are you come to the UK for? Look, I've got you <laughs> come to the UK. I've got my UK passport. Expect to knock at the door from Kratos. What, you're going to come in for some tea and biscuits? <laughs> because I, I like the dig If you come in, bring some digested biscuits. You better bring some digested biscuits, some custard creams. Because if you come to my house, <laughs> bring some custard creams. Because I want to dunk some flipping custard creams. <laughs> knock on my damn door. Bring some custard creams. <laughs> Guys. I'm sorry, it had to be done. I hope you have, um, I hope I'm still recording, I hope you can still hear. I hope you have a lovely day, lovely evening, and I do hope that this helps you and guides you on your journey. It's been a very heartful one. I will not be sharing any more on be uh, baked beans reloaded. No more miners, because this is just aggro, man. Try, try to tell people I'm trying something like that's risky, and then people get upset when they flip and throw too much money in. You're all grown people, do what you wanna do. But thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a good day. Come and check this one here. Apparently, I'm a scammer. Uh, and I'm just going to keep doing what I do best. I'm going to keep sharing helpful videos like this uh, and just, just show you what I'm doing, like, like what I've been doing all the time. This is high risk. And if you try to get in now, I can't promise you what's going to happen with this going forward. If you're in this, if you work out a strategy that's best for you. I can't tell you. I'm not even going to tell you. It doesn't matter. You do what you want to do. You can either rebate a few days and do what you want to do. I don't care what you do. Figure it out. Hopefully, you'll get your money back. If not, you only lost what you can afford to lose because that's what this is about. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh,